We have another recycling story of a sort. Actually, it's more about adaptive reuse, although I don't think they would have used that term 150 years ago. But there was a company in 1869 in Washington, Missouri, that began to take corn cobs and turn them into something that today can be found all over the world. It's a story Caravaniger told in our documentary, River Towns. A crop that flourished in this good dirt was corn, and it would be pivotal to the success of one of the Missouri River Valley's longest running and most unusual businesses. The story of the corn cob pipe really starts when the pioneers came to America and they saw the Native Americans smoking tobacco and with corn. They mimicked them and tried to make their own pipes. And so the legend is that one of those people came up the Missouri River, which is right behind us, and contacted Mr. Tibby, who owned this company, who was a, a wood turner, and asked him if he could turn those or make those pipes on his wood lathes. And uh, he tried it and uh, made a few extra, I guess, to put in the window. And uh, within a few years, that became his sole business. Missouri Mearsham was certainly not the only company that made corn cob pipes, but was the first. The Missouri Mearsham Company has made some of the most iconic pipes of the 20th century, including those enjoyed by Popeye and General MacArthur. He saw one of our pipes that we've been making since the 1880s. The bowl was too deep on it, so he, he had us move the, the shank, the, the part that comes out of the bowl, up. And that's the classic MacArthur that you see. That pipe is popular in Japan because General MacArthur, after World War II, was instrumental in keeping the uh, emperor from being executed. So especially the older people in Japan have a fondness for MacArthur. We've shipped to Japan probably since World War II. And they aren't just big in Japan. Per year, this small factory hand makes and ships around 500,000 pipes all over the world. Founded in Washington, Missouri in 1869, the Missouri Meerschaum Company was already world famous when it sent an impressive display of its corn cob pipes to the World's Fair, joining the Missouri Corn Palace in a demonstration of Midwest ingenuity and abundance. 